Get her. Baby. Stop. Okay, now we'll take this. Oh, is that a slick? We'll take this stud out, and then I got to get some no ox and put that other rod on there. That's good. Okay. Now we're going to bring that over here. There's a towel in the back of my truck, Gless. I think it was up. Okay, we, we want to turn this rod in far enough so that the end of the first rod butts up against the tip of the second rod inside of the coupler. There. Okay. We're putting the coupling on the other end with a driving stud on it. And we'll use a hammer drill. Everybody in your truck then? We got one more to do yet. No, one more. Oh, okay. My first 10 feet is easy. It's the first 10 feet. <laughs> hey, did you make that, Bill? I'm, I made this out of a number eight steel bolt. I've got a metal turning lay at home and I put it in the metal turning lay and took the head off of the bolt okay. so that it would fit inside of the driving coupler on the hammer drill. Dave, you're on the cord there. This no ox that we're putting on there is the same kind of stuff you would put on battery terminals to keep it from corroding. Make sure it's straight. Ready? Go ahead. Here. Okay, this is the block for doing the CAD welding. This will slide over the ground rod, come up and stop. Okay. So, now we'll put a charge in here with metal in it, and when we ignite that, that will melt and it'll go down in here and the wires that come through will get welded. OK, 
Okay, there are the wires going through. We're going to take our pigtail that's going to go off to the tower and we're going to put it through. Can I go all the way through then? Yep. So now what I need to do on top of the tank in there is some uh, monkey, monkey putty. I need to use some of that. Where does that go? We're going to close these holes oh. off a little bit so the molten metal won't, come won't out. run out. Now we're going to set this down on top of our ground rod. These are the uh, charges that have got the molten metal in them. In a canister like so. so what we're going to do is just set that inside of here. Like that. Put the lid on. Oh, this wow. is the igniter. There's batteries in here. So all we're going to do is we're going to plug this onto this piece of metal. So and yeah. that's going to ignite that and then it'll melt. So now we have Is everybody ready? Go. Smell too, doesn't it? There's the ground wires attached to the ground rod. We'll backfill this with some dirt. This pigtail here will pull through and that'll go over and attach to the tower leg. Of course, I'm standing downwind. We want to position this. Your finger's not on the button, is it? No. Okay. <laughs> Good question. It's been in works for two years. Wow. Two to three years. And the tower's up, the grounding's in, the coax cable for the two meter repeater antenna is over to the sh shed. And the next project will be to get the repeater up and running and on the air. Hopefully, so the next project, once, in, once they have the telephone meeting on this coming Monday, then we'll know where to put the hole, up there or down here. I won't, I won't suggest where I think it should go. I let the committee decide. Whatever it is, it's fine. Now, who did Les find the tower? Yeah. So, how did you find the tower? Uh, the scoutmaster out of West Fargo. Uh, we were commissioners for the for the unit, and he's assistant police chief for West Fargo PD, and they were getting a new tower, so he knew uh -huh. I was a ham, so he they donated the tower to us. Well, I know that uh, Les personally put in four hundred dollars just for the. The, the metal bracket that goes in the concrete 
We had other donations, and what, the, what did the whole pad cost when we were all through? By eight thousand? I don't even remember. Uh, I think the, that's pretty close. About eight thousand dollars to get this hundred foot pole up in the air. It's one hell of a slab. Who knew four inches thick concrete would cost? How that much? much? Four inches thick concrete. Yeah, four inches. Yeah, four. <laughs> Lots of rebar. I think. I think uh, uh, Steve Inkle said twenty-two yards. Does that sound right? Yep, twenty-two, 22 20, yards. Twenty-two. Right. Okay, well, that's a lot of lot of work. Well, it's not done yet. Then who found the cabinet? Did you find that, Les? I found that too, from Gene uh, Wicklin out in West, out at Horace, and he donated a uh, electronic uh, repeater cabinet or uh, uh, storage cabinet. Storage cabinet for electronic equipment. Well, that cabinet, it, I'm telling you, is worth about four hundred dollars. It's got all kinds of ventilator fans in the back and strips to plug things in. That's a really nice cabinet. And then Bill's going to put, take the repeater out of the Motorola MSR 2000 and put it in the rack. And that's going to be a job by itself. And put the duplexer in there. And then that's the new Recamp repeater. The other antenna up there, hopefully there'll be a ham radio desk next to the tower for HF and two meters. We have rope on the tower, so whatever they want to pull up there for HF, they can. The storm comes, they can lower it back down again. Yep. So by... Who knows when will when will be on the air? You think? I'm open uh, in a week. Oh, geez. Well, you a week to two weeks. Well, when we you guys decide, or whoever decides where the hole is going to go, please call me. I will be here. I happen to have all the right tools for that, and we'll run the coax too. Okay. Well, we videotaped the tower going up, and we videotaped the the grounding process. Hope you enjoyed the video, and hope you learned something. It's snowing out. Time to get my sandwich. <laughs>